everyone. We are live at five. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. We have quite Oh guests. my God. We are you ready? Amazing. Well, first of all, I've been reading this book all day. Me too. Because we, I just got a copy today and I was like, well, that's my day. I'm reading <laughs> Voice Lessons by Kara Menzel. And guess who else is here? Dina Menzel. Mm -hmm. You know her. Uh, the sisters are in the house. Beautiful sisters. And we're going to talk all about this book. It's a really cool book and I'm going to tell you why I love it. And you guys can ask questions about the book and about other things if you want. And, but we'll get through the news first, because I know you guys are Let's excited. Let's speed read the news, because okay, we've so got some happening. important guests. Oh, I'm first. Rocktopia. There's a show called Rocktopia. Rob Evans, wasn't he in uh, Jekyll and Hyde? Yes. Great rock and roll singer. He created this show, which I never heard of, called Rocktopia, and it's coming to Broadway. They booked, which theater is the it? The Broadway Theater. The, well, because it's Broadway. The there Broadway Theater. This, okay, now this is like a crazy selection of music. Featuring the music of Mozart, Queen, Beethoven, Journey, Handel, U2, Tchaikovsky, Pink Floyd, Heart. I mean, it's crazy. So it's like classic music and rock and roll music. And it's inspired by the idea that if Beethoven or Mozart were alive, they would be modern day rock stars. That's the concept. <laughs> and uh, it has a rock band, a choir of 40. Uh, and Rob Evan is in the show. And so is Tony Vincent who was fantastic in American Idiot, Jesus Christ Superstar. Right. Uh, Chloe Lowry, Kimberly Nicole, and Allison Cambridge. It will run next spring, March 20th through April 29th at the Broadway Theater. Wow, amazing. Let's get through it. Okay, also, hello again. That's Michael John LaCusa's off-Broadway musical. We know what that is, but there is a film adaptation. Yeah, I know. It's good people. With good people. Let's name these people. This is Audrey McDonald. I said good people, right? Audrey McDonald, Martha Plimpton, Cheyenne Jackson, T.R. Knight, Rumor Willis, Jenna Ushkowitz. Nolan, Gerard, Funk, and more. This movie is coming out for wide release November 8th. There's a lot of sex. It's all about That's sex. That's right. It's That's right. Movie it's a about, string of right? affairs among 10 characters sex. through every decade of the 20th century. Yeah. So it's going to be good. There you go. Um, a Bronx Tale. So last night, Bobby Conte Thornton, who we love, the star of A we Bronx do love Tale, him. he tweeted that he's leaving the show. Um, his final performance is when? November 5th one year after uh, the first preview performance. So you have one more month to see Bobby. He's fantastic in the show. What's the name of his character? C. Beth loves to just, yep. Shorten and, it. And uh, it's fantastic. Go see him. And I'm sure now that's going to be a great role for you some. You know Adina's here, right? Let's just. Yeah. Go. That's a great role, though, for some someone else, right? Like, that's a good, yes, juicy role for some Yes, it is a good leading man role. Italian cute boy. So we'll see what they get. <laughs> Okay, well, we don't usually uh, report on shows at the Citadel Theater in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, but <laughs> listen to this cast of a reunion of Hades Town that was at New York Theater Workshop right. last year. A trio of stars that were all in Spider Man Turn Off the Dark Reeve Carney, Patrick Page. Survivors. Okay, that was you. Patrick Page and TV Carpio are all in it, along with Amber Gray and Kingsley Legs. This is some real Amber star Gray power. Amber Gray was in Hades Town off Broadway. Ha Amber Gray yep. was in it. This was conceived by Great Comet's Rachel Chapkin. Also, Amber Gray was also in Great Comet. Cool. So this will play November 11th through December 3rd. Where is Canada. this theater? Canada. Alberta. We got to go to Canada. Yeah, we do. Okay. Road trip. Uh, Kristen Chenoweth got a new TV pilot. Um, it's not a musical, but there might be some singing because there always is. Right. right? <laughs> it's called The Real Fairy Godmother. It focuses on a self-centered real housewife played by Kristen, who finds out that she is descended from a special group of fairy godmothers and is destined to use magical skills to help people in need. High concept. Okay. It was written by Alan Zachary and Michael Weiner, who wrote that Broadway musical First Date right. that Zach Levine and, and um, Crystal Rodriguez. Right, Crystal Rodriguez were in. And uh, Craig Zayden and Neil Marin are producing it. And of course, they've worked with Chenoweth before on like Hairspray Live and Annie and Promises, Promises. <laughs> Just all those yeah. projects, yeah. Uh, okay, so the MacArthur Genius Grants have come out, and two acclaimed playwrights have are genius are now certified. So Annie Baker certified and genius. Taylor certified geniuses. Annie Baker and Taylor Mack. Annie Baker, of course, won a Pulitzer Prize for the flick, and Taylor Mack was a Pulitzer finalist yes. for a 24-decade history of popular music. Mm -hmm. So they both got a whole lot of money and a whole lot of acclaim. So there you go. How we also have late $625,000 with no strings attached. And a Not free copy bad. of Voice Lessons. Yes. Okay, last, last bit of news, and then I'm going to get out of here. There's late-breaking news. Are you ready for oh, this? Okay. Ralphie, this is very important, has been cast for Christmas Story on Fox. That's the live broadcast oh. on December 17th. Mm -hmm. His name is Andy Walken. He's from Seattle, Washington, and he is 11. So congratulations oh, to congratulations. him. Congratulations. I can't wait to see you li on live TV. That's going to be scary. He's going to shoot his eye out. OK. I'm going to get out of here. Okay. okay. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be right back with Kara and Adina Menzel. Go ahead. Throw your rocks at me. Baking a pie is easy. 
If you know how. I am still standing. If only life were as easy as pie. Waitress is a hit, raves the New York Times, with songs by Grammy-nominated artist Sarah Bareilles, an uplifting celebration of love and laughter. Time is running out to see War Paint, starring two-time Tony Award winners Patti LuPone and Christine Ebersole. Now through December 30th only. The New York Times says these deliciously paired Broadway legends are knockouts. These are two star turns for the ages. Don't miss your last chance to see Broadway's once-in-a-lifetime event, War Paint. Broadway's Come From Away is a Best Musical winner all across North America. This stirring and inspiring musical takes you to a place you never want to leave. Celebrate the best of humankind and the best in all of us at Come From Away, the remarkable true story of the small town that welcomed the world. Hey guys, we are back on Live at Five. We have two, not one, but two exciting guests. Kara Menzel and Adina Menzel. Kara. <laughs> Kara wrote this book that came out yesterday, just released. Did, have you gone to like a bookstore to actually see it? I have not. Okay, done that. That. you have to I've do had that. Pictures of friends who have gone to bookstores. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, this is a book about your relationship, which mm -hmm. is which is so cool. And when I first heard this was happening a few months, we've been working on this for years, but yes. I didn't know about it until a few months ago, and I thought, oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait to read. I'm going to get a whole other perspective of Adina Menzel, someone <laughs> who I think I know, but now I know now I know more. Yeah. I found out a lot of things. Yeah. I found <laughs> for, a lot of things. For better but or for worse, right? So you and you actually wrote the foreword to mm -hmm. this book, and and the very first thing you say is that you basically got approached to write a book, mm -hmm. and you and you, your reaction was. Why? I mean, it just <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't lived the most. In, I mean, I know I do a lot of cool things, but it's not like to write a book. It's not like you know. It just it felt. I, I just didn't want to. And, and, and your reaction was basically, my sister should write a book. My sister is she a writer. Write. She's an amazing and, writer. And then they said, well, though, yeah, she can go write your book. And you said, no, exactly. she should write her story. Exactly. And, and you immediately said, what? So were you immediately <laughs> on board for this? <laughs> I got put on the spot so quickly there. <laughs> um, I was I was really excited about it. Yeah. I, first of all, it was it was so um, it was so thoughtful of her. So I was really um, taken mm -hmm. by that that she thought of me. And then I, my immediate thought was, oh my God, you have to remember things to write memoir. <laughs> like you have to have memories in memoirs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she said, oh, you know the outcome. And then I said, dear, I've never written a book before. Right. You know, little short stories that I send via email to you and grandma is not the same thing as writing a, uh -huh. a book. And she's like, oh, pff, you'll write a book. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted her to, I wanted her to have the credit because I knew you know, I want her to feel like people were supporting her, her talent. And mm -hmm. so um, we sent in um, writing pieces of hers and, and people that would, have, would not, would not, you know, would tell me the truth, you know? Yeah. And they were like, she's a great writer, you mm -hmm. know, she should do this. Um, and it was just more interesting, I felt like, to talk about this kind of relationship. It's more complicated and, is it okay that I keep looking at you, Beth, yeah. off camera? <laughs> <laughs> Beth is on camera, and I love her. Um, but uh, yeah, it's you know it's such a complicated, beautiful relationship, and I thought it just was. I was more interested. You could use fun stuff from from our lives and and career stuff of mine as milestones, but mm -hmm. only as sort of tent poles to really reflect on on a life of two girls that became women and um, have gone in and out of each other's lives yeah. and. I, I mean, I actually, I even actually related my relationship with my brother because mm -hmm. you know it's really interesting hearing your stories about siblings, and you know not always the closest and sort of on your own paths as kids, mm -hmm. and sometimes feeling like you wished you were, you were closer, and then sort of seeing you grow. I mean, it really is like a really interesting journey, and I, mm -hmm. I liked how honest it was, and and I really were you. Did you help her with the memories? Was there any? Was there a lot of texting? Like, hey, do you remember yes. what that? Yeah, there was a there was a lot of. There was that. a lot of. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Was there anything you didn't want in the book? No, I wanted more in the book, <laughs> but you know, I, you have to be careful with that. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's some things I learned. Can I tell you some of my favorite mm -hmm. things I learned? 
Um, you got stoned at the rent opening. <laughs> I loved hearing that. It's the on first Broadway. time. I know because apparently at the I Dina just love table, being a good influence. There was a joint being passed around. Yes, so. that was a long time ago, way before I was a Disney princess. And I was an elementary school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I also, yeah. I also loved learning that when you auditioned for Wicked, I never knew this that you went on green lipstick and a, and a black pony hat, and you sang "I Know the Truth" from Aida, yeah. which is hilarious. I don't picture Amneris. But like I was doing that show, and they right. wanted a pop ballad, and I didn't have a lot of time, and right. I just thought, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. that was it. That was the most interesting thing to you. That was something new for me. I just didn't know that, and I liked hearing. I liked the visual. <laughs> I liked the visual of picturing you like waiting for the audition with your like black hat on. Well, I had read. I had read the novel, and she was so yeah. goth in the novel. Yeah. You know? So yeah, yeah. it was like black and biker boots and yeah you know alphabet what we're talking about you've heard of alphabet right <laughs> yeah. alphabet um, i also love learning that because this says a lot to me about you that when you were a teenager you had a, one of those private phone lines in your because that was such a thing <laughs> that was like such a well, thing like in I the don't 80s know. Was long island mm -hmm. i don't know if it was a thing everywhere or i was just spoiled or what but yeah, yeah and it was a phone line uh, recording the outgoing voice message you know uh -huh. with the music playing in the background yeah we all had times. our own way <laughs> yeah you always but had it was the it. thing that would get yanked out if i'd done something that wasn't cool as a teenager <laughs> you know that's it's like taking the smartphone away nowadays you just you yeah. have to unplug it from the wall. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love picturing what you were doing with that private phone line behind the closed door. So I was talking, talking to some, to like, what, who was it? Like a boyfriend that was in college and it was, sure. he was in Maryland. And then I, you know, who's to think I'm racking up the long distance bills and I'd hide under my, the blanket. And then our parents saw, you know, yeah. they get a <laughs> bill. And see everything. Yeah. yeah, phone bills used to be expensive. Nowadays, it's like people are so exactly. spoiled, right? Yeah. Um, to this day, I think somebody broke up with me at like two in the morning, yeah. but I don't know if it was a dream or real because <laughs> it was you had the phone right there. Because I remember it happening, uh -huh. but then it like, yeah, yeah, it was probably and real. It was. Kara, <laughs> 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 the photo section of your book, like I told you guys, this is worth the price alone. The photos are amazing. <laughs> was it fun to pull these photos together? Yes, it was a lot of work. Too, yeah, but it was I'm fun. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Kara, you let's talk about the title. So, okay. voice lessons, mm -hmm. a sister's story. <laughs> um, where did the title come from? I know there's a sort of a moment in the book early on where there's like a voice lesson, mm -hmm. kind of like where Adina, who it's not I don't my know if you guys knew, it's Adina sings. Moment. Adina sings kind of flawlessly. Um, <laughs> she probably doesn't see <laughs> it that way, no. but uh, we do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Perfect voice, and you also performed, and and you were singing. So, wh but where it did came this e it came easy to me, and people would dote on me, and I was always the one taking the lessons and you know getting the solos. And then my little sister started to get an opportunity, and yeah. she was practicing. And oh, and I had no idea there were there were things I couldn't do, right? Because when you're little, you just yeah. sort of do stuff. Right. And she was doing it, and why couldn't I? Right. And when we played together, we both sang, and I didn't realize, oh, she's good at this, and I'm not. <laughs> Wow, so so anyway, I tried. I was auditioning for um, for elementary school, like uh -huh. choir concert or whatever. What was it? We were just talking about it. Um, uh, I there's no that. business like show. Oh yeah, the butcher, the baker, and, and I the just grocer. gave her some constructive criticism, mm -hmm. which was basically like, just sing it. Yeah, like why this. can't you do it like this? <laughs> <laughs> that and was I, the voice lesson. And cut to um, what is it? Thirty years, yeah. 40 years later, we're <laughs> in the recording studio doing the song together. Um, yeah, you guys just recorded Never Never. Yeah, loud. and it was sort of the same thing. Come on, Kara, just sing it like this. <laughs> yeah, it's like re-traumatizing her all over. <laughs> she was like, pretend you're, you know, you're an elementary school teacher. Try it like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just didn't want her to, well, it's, you I know, was it's nervous. Yeah. I was nervous. Yeah. She was trying to loosen me up. She wanted me to really sort Tell of Tell the story. Her. I wanted her to have her own voice, too, and really, like, uh -huh. you know, um, on the mic and find what that was. And right. Anyway, that's the whole point of the whole book. Is this we're constantly trying to find our own voices, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. even even she she does a beautiful job of of it being her finding her voice, but also I think sort of talking about how we both learn from each other. And I might have been the singer with the voice, but I also was searching and. I just like, as I usurp the entire conversation as a big sister does, just like to say that even though it might seem like big sister experience, um, that she got married first and she had kids first and she's so often, she was kind of like an old soul and yeah. I so often look to her at my darkest times for guidance and inspiration and wisdom and um, so 
there are a lot of voice lessons that aren't necessarily about singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your life a little bit. You live in Colorado. Yep, Boulder, Colorado. Uh -huh. And I teach kindergartners, first, second, and third graders how to read. Usually the ones that for one reason or another aren't picking it up very uh -huh. quickly. Uh -huh. And then I go home and I write. And then um, I hang out with my boys. Well, now my boys are older. So I have a 15-year-old. He's a ninth grader in high school. Okay. And then I have a 19-year-old, and he's off in college. And then I have a stepson who's 22. And she was, you know, she got divorced, and she was a single mom, and took herself back to school mm -hmm. to get her teaching uh, degrees and stuff, and um, raised these two beautiful sons, and had a lot, a lot going on at the time, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just, you know kind of like my hero, how she handled yeah. all that. And um, we talked, is it in it? I forget what ends up being in it and what isn't, but there was a time where I came to visit her and she was, uh, where are you, TA in college or something? Mm -hmm. And you Started were standing up in front of um, these college students teaching what, were, what was the class? Neuroscience. Neuroscience. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Neuroscience. But she all of a sudden came from this very introverted, sort of shy, small voice to like, she had, like, had this presence in front of this class yeah. and this, this strength yeah. and I was like, you need to teach or, you know, wow. it, it was yeah, I was talking about like postsynaptic transmission and things like that. And she was <laughs> like, oh. And then another time she, see, I'm just bragging, but another time, um, it sounds like a weird example, but our grandmother mm -hmm. passed away and um, she got, she wrote the eulogy and got up and and talked about her grandmother and did it in the most eloquent way and made everyone laugh and cracked the jokes and and was poignant wow. and and mm -hmm. wrote this beautiful eulogy and I and once again sh there she was a sister that sort of was right. like you know um, sort of in the uh, shadow of me sometimes mm. but in the most important moments rose to the occasion and really right. that, was, that was a powerful moment for me too because I I needed to feel like I served a purpose mm -hmm. and I got to do something that I felt was really important for my dad. Um, and then I got like the best compliment of my life, which was that I saved somebody years of therapy. <laughs> 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 which, uh, having spent a lot of money on therapy over the years, I feel like that, you know. That's worth, it's okay. a good bargain. Wow. It's good to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. And then we fair. switched, we, we switched um, names at a wedding mm -hmm. once. Um, because they always confuse us, especially the older Jewish people. <laughs> so we just decided we were going to go with it. We did that. And this yeah. lovely woman mistook me for D, and I was like, OK, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. But yeah, it's a really cool perspective of, and you know, I've watched your career over the years. And, and you know, a lot of these milestones you talk about in here, mm -hmm. I loved watching her. And it's so cool to see your story about being at all these events, at the, at the Oscars and at, at opening nights, and all, so just sort of. It's, it's a really interesting, it's a story I haven't really heard before, so that's what I really liked about it. I, I really wanted to present what's universal about relationships, yeah. um, normal, healthy relationships that are still complicated, right? I wanted to, um, to write about that, but then I also wanted the layer of, and hey, now we're on the red carpet, you know? Right. Now we're at the Broadway opening of Rent. Yeah. Um, so that stuff that's more unique is it, fun, and I want people to be there. Um, but I also wanted the universal piece about relationships to be really um, is it, authentic. Is it weird to see, um, Dina has a lot of fans, mm -hmm. a lot of them are watching, hi. Uh, is it weird to see sort of people have their, think they have their own relationship with her or like, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's interesting to watch when, when somebody becomes famous and outside of your, your world, they have their own sort of mm -hmm. thing. Is that strange to sort of like watch people interact with her who don't really know her or, I always sort of wondered what that's My like. My son hates that. But go ahead, answer the question. I'm, talk I'm <laughs> starting again. Um, I know. I mean, I think in those moments, like when we when we're leaving a theater and mm -hmm. everybody's waiting at the theater door, right. the stage door, and she's got her pen. Usually, that's invigorating. I get really excited. Tell them the time when that. you. That's my the, the best one of the best parts of the book for me when you talked about when you were little and one of the first shows I was in. I don't know oh. what we were doing at Jayla. Oh, Solomon. that's a good connection. So, but this first time she was doing. Um, Pirates of Penzance, right? right? right. Uh, there's a photo of that in here mm -hmm. by the book. Yes. Yeah. Revival's <laughs> coming, and Dina is Mabel. Tis <laughs> Mabel, <laughs> wondering why. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember how old I was. I'm probably figuring it out for the book. but um, And I remember at the end, they all got together, and they did their big bow. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and everybody was cheering, and I was looking, and even before the end, I was looking behind me at this like huge pool of eyes, and everybody mesmerized by my sister. Right. And it was um, there was a lot of adrenaline involved, but there was also this like this tight tightness in me that was like, oh my gosh, she's not like yeah. mine anymore. She's right. like everybody's. Right. Um, and so that's always been this really interesting place for me because there's yeah. so much joy in that, and then there's also like. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. I get to share the remote with her. <laughs> the <one> the remote. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of questions. But first of all, I, I, I have to congratulate you just got married. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Very, we are very excited to see the, the gorgeous photos. Thanks. Aaron Lahr, who is a very talented mm -hmm. actor. And he is. I, I, I love See What I Want to See, which you guys are in together. Yeah. I, I love that show. I listen to that album all the time. You do? Do it's you know that? Did you play it at the wedding or anything? <laughs> no. Probably not. He's Probably moved not. on. He's a very gifted therapist now and does a lot of the real work in this world. So. Again um, with the therapy connection. We're just all... And my <laughs> mother's a therapist. Just kill me now, please. Uh, okay, go ahead. okay, there's some questions. <laughs> Nate wants to know, Kara, what's your favorite role Adina's played and why? Um, that's so hard. Mine, I think, is the one is the one that people haven't seen, have seen the least, which is um, in Ask the Dust. I love that. Oh, that's you were movie. wonderful in that movie. That's my mm -hmm. favorite, too. And I remember Mira you filmed that name. right during Wicked. Like yes. Right, like right, right I remember, after the yeah. Tonys, mm -hmm. like a week later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were kind of crazy in that movie. That was yeah. like a great scene. Wounded. She, she had a lot of issues. Wounded, wounded, sorry, wounded. Yeah. But I do remember. That was a great performance. One of the things I remember about that, though, which is quite a contrast from her performance, was talking to her from South Africa at the time. And, um, and I was single and sad and whiny. And she was <laughs> like, you know, having to fool around with Colin, Colin Farrell. Farrell. Yeah, <laughs> Colin Farrell, and everyone. And go home to Tay Diggs. And I was just like, you know, spread the wealth a little bit. This is like, <laughs> so unfair. I'm on Match.com. Like, <laughs> and she's like, I'm Colin Farrell. Like, That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, they're loving the Never Neverland video. Jennifer is loving the book. Everyone get the book. It's, it's, it's by the way, did I mention the photos? <laughs> the photos are fantastic. Um, uh, oh, the, oh, I asked that same question. They want you to make an album together. I don't think they're <laughs> saying that. They're because sorry. of the Never Neverland video. <laughs> um, uh, okay, sorry. I'm just, just an album love. together. I, I, I'm looking at questions. Yeah. Do you want me to? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Kara, you're an amazing writer. This oh. is Shiva. That's Shiva. nice. Would you want to write another book after this one? If yes, then about mm -hmm. what? Yeah, what else do you write? I mean, you said that you write. I love to write memoir, um, oh. mostly because I just feel like I'm constantly spotting the stories in my life. Mm. I see it, I kind of see it that way. Um, and I don't mean that to be all right. like, special. It's just, that's sort of how it works for me. Um, but I really want to write about brothers. So <laughs> <laughs> I, got the, I, I got the idea. We did a road trip around the Ring Road in Iceland. And it was my um, stepson. And um, you know, I got those big boys all in the car. Yeah. And the car turned out, part of the deal for that trip was that we were going to have this big rental car. And then it turned out that the car wasn't that big. And so <laughs> <laughs> we were all like, for. 14 days in this oh car God. on the ring road and um, just a lot of really great conversations and anyway so uh, it inspired me and I don't know what shape that will take but I do want to write about that right you both have all boys it's all like a lot of men in your lives yes. Right? yes and I just spent like five years you know all girly <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you tell me what can you tell me about your you're doing a play next year skin mm -hmm. tight skin they, tight, they yeah, announced so Harmon. early they're like teasing it. It's like, know. you can see Adina back on stage in a year. Exactly. Just, so just sit tight. I know. Sit tight. For skin tight. <laughs> what is it? Is it, it yeah, sounds, it sounds sexy play. and fun. I know. It sounds play. sexy. It's Joshua Harmon. Yeah, yeah. What do you like about it? Um, I don't have to sing <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> no, it's a relief once in a while, you know, to just not have to worry about your voice. But yeah. no, and it's, you know, people will get to see me do something they haven't get, gotten to see me do. Uh, it's funny. It's serious. It's Josh is an amazing writer. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's roundabout. It's exciting. Lauren wants to know, for both of you, what is your favorite thing about your sister? What's your favorite thing about each other? Wow. You going first? Yeah, no, you go first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Um, my favorite thing about her is her, uh, yeah, this is really hard Okay, to wait, do. maybe I should go, should I go first? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have it? I no. can say what I like about no. both of you, but that's, <laughs> no one cares. You know, when you think if I just open my mouth, it'll, it'll happen, but then, um, 
my favorite thing. I mean, do you she, have it? We're live. She's. She, I <laughs> she puts up with me. My favorite thing is um, is watching her as a mother. Mm. As a mom. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you. That me up. Sweet. Uh, I was gonna say her strength. Um, yeah, her strength and her, her ability to stay hopeful and um, put a lot of love and light out there in the world. Mm. <laughs> How's your mom? Huh? How's your mom? Our mom is good. She's good. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, thank I, you. You're yeah, so I sweet. Mean, hi, mom. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always, I always enjoy the uh, the, the Menzel clan at, a, at an opening. My mom's skin is like younger than mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. There's some stories about her in here too. Yeah, what mm -hmm. she's so happy about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is 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 there anything? There's nothing you wish wasn't in here. Obviously, cool. You wanted more. No, we're we we're, we're really honest in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kara is really honest. I, I am a perfectionist and I can be very hard on myself and mm -hmm. yet I open it and I find a spot and I find that I'm still reading. So I feel like one of the big accomplishments isn't just having written it, but actually liking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Really, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, everyone can get this, uh, A Voice Lessons, A Sister's Story. It is fantastic. I, I like just plowed through it today. Like literally, I was like, I got it this morning, and I was like, they're coming in. I'm gonna read it, and like, I love it. I it love is kind of fast. Like it. it moves. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's good. Well, I'm also a very fast reader, and I and I and I like the topic a lot. <laughs> I like the topic. By the way, this used to be Adina's last name too, with the T. It's very yeah, famously. You've talked about this before. But I took the T out, thinking that it would help people pronounce my name better. That didn't really work. <laughs> Is that, that, that didn't, yeah, oh yeah, right. You famously, yeah. famously people but can't pronounce your so name. So now it's just annoying for the publisher to figure out. But <laughs> right. I just wanted to gloat on you a little bit because I'm sitting here with you in this really cool studio and thinking how, lo how, w back, how far back we go and how you've built this whole thing. And we I'm go just back. very proud of you. Aww. Really. That's and very sweet. And you've always just. You've just done so much for this entire community, and you're always so supportive. And I'm look just like, you. look at you sitting here, and look you look so you. handsome. And I'll take I'm just it. Happy for you. I'll take yeah. it. I met you 21 and a half years ago. Is that how long it is? A long time ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> it was rent, right? And we have close birthdays. And Do we? Why yeah, you sang happy birthday that. to me. Once. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's so We're both crazy Gemini's. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what yeah. sign are you, Kara? I'm a Leo. Okay, so how does that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. All I know is my my. I don't. Only one I care about is my uh, my husband is uh, Aaron. His. I, I'm not into all the the, the astrology, right. but I know that our we, we're sexually compatible. <laughs> oh, that's what it says. Yes, and that's all I care well, you about. You know what? I don't know what my sister's thing is with me, but his and he and is I. Is that one of the okay. first things you look it's up when you, met, when you meet a guy? <laughs> like, what's the sexual compatibility? <laughs> I love that information. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you and to Aaron yes, on that. <laughs> Happy wedding. Uh, and I would love to see Aaron back on the stage too. So just I mention that to him. I will tell him that. that. He, that yes. he would really appreciate yeah, you saying that. that. There. Okay, everyone. Voice Lessons is in bookstores now and everywhere. You know, all the download places, all the tablets, everywhere. Yeah. You can get it everywhere. Yeah. It's awesome. And uh, thank you so much, thank Karen. Thank you for Medina, having me. Yeah. So great to see you. So great to see you. And uh, you guys will be back tomorrow with another great guest on Live at Five. Bye. <laughs>